The relationship between France and many African countries has been marked by a complex mix of historical, political and economic factors. While it is essential to recognize that each African nation has its unique experiences and perspectives, there are common themes of resentment towards France that have persisted over the years. This article explores 10 key reasons why some African countries harbor resentment towards France, shedding light on the historical context, contemporary challenges, and the potential for improved relations. Colonial Legacy One of the primary sources of resentment towards France in many African nations is its colonial legacy. During the scramble for Africa in the late 19th century, France, along with other European powers, laid claim to vast African territories. This colonization era left deep and lasting scars on the African continent. French colonial rule often involved exploitation, cultural erasure, and economic subjugation. The legacy of colonialism is still felt today through the enduring economic disparities between France and its former colonies. Many African countries argue that France has not adequately addressed the historical injustices and inequalities resulting from its colonial past. Economic Exploitation African nations have long accused France of continuing to exploit their resources through economic agreements that appear to favor French companies. This perceived economic neocolonialism has led to significant resentment. It is argued that these agreements often prioritize the interests of France over the development and well-being of African nations. Some of the contentious issues include unequal trade terms, unfavorable debt repayment conditions, and a lack of transparency in economic dealings. These factors contribute to economic dependency and hinder the self-sufficiency and growth of African economies. Francophone Dominance French-speaking African countries, collectively known as Francophone Africa, often feel the weight of French cultural and linguistic dominance. French remains the official language in many of these nations, and the education system is often based on French curriculum and teaching methods. This linguistic and cultural influence has led to concerns about the erosion of local identities and traditions. The push for linguistic diversity and the preservation of indigenous languages and cultures can create tensions between these countries and France. Political Interference Accusations of French interference in the internal politics of African nations have fueled resentment. It is alleged that France has, at times, supported authoritarian regimes or leaders who serve its interests, even if they do not respect democratic values or human rights. The perception of foreign meddling in domestic affairs undermines the sovereignty and independence of African nations. This has led to distrust and strained diplomatic relations between France and some African governments. Military Presence France maintains a military presence in several African countries through the establishment of military bases. While these bases are often justified as part of security cooperation agreements, they can be seen as an extension of French influence and a potential infringement on the sovereignty of host nations. For instance, Djibouti hosts France's largest overseas military base, which supports French military operations across the region. In Mali, the presence of French forces as part of counter-terrorism efforts has sparked debates about the extent of their involvement in the country's internal affairs. Nuclear Testing in the Sahara The history of French nuclear testing in the Sahara Desert remains a point of contention between France and affected African nations. In the 1960s, France conducted a series of nuclear tests in the Sahara causing severe environmental damage and health issues for nearby populations. These tests not only had immediate health and environmental consequences, but also left a long-lasting legacy of mistrust. Some African nations argue that France has not taken sufficient responsibility for the consequences of its nuclear testing in the region. Arms Sales France's arms sales to African governments, including those with questionable human rights records, have raised significant ethical concerns. While these sales may contribute to French economic interests, they are often criticized for perpetuating conflicts and instability in the region.
The influx of weapons can exacerbate existing tensions and conflicts within African nations, leading to human rights abuses and further instability. Critics argue that France should prioritize peace and stability over arms sales. Immigration Policies France's immigration policies, particularly in dealing with undocumented migrants from African countries, have faced criticism for being harsh and discriminatory. The treatment of migrants, asylum seekers, and refugees can strain relations between France and African nations. African countries argue that France should adopt more compassionate and inclusive immigration policies that respect the rights and dignity of migrants. Resentment often arises when African migrants face discrimination or harsh treatment in France. Lack of accountability Many African countries feel that France has not fully acknowledged or taken responsibility for its colonial past and its role in perpetuating post-colonial problems on the continent. The absence of sincere apologies or reparations can exacerbate resentment. Acknowledging historical injustices and working towards reconciliation is seen as a necessary step towards building stronger and more equitable relationships between France and African nations. Without accountability, trust remains elusive. Unequal partnerships Bilateral agreements between France and African nations are often viewed as unequal. France often benefits more in terms of economic, political, and strategic advantages, while African nations may feel that their interests are not adequately represented or protected. Achieving fair and balanced partnerships that prioritize the development and well-being of African nations is a central concern. Resentment can persist when African countries perceive a lack of reciprocity in their dealings with France. Conclusion the resentment towards France, in some African countries, is a complex issue rooted in historical, political and economic factors. While these reasons may not apply universally to all African nations, they shed light on the challenges that have strained the relationship between France and its African counterparts. It is important to note that efforts have been made to address these grievances and build stronger, more equitable partnerships. Dialogue cooperation, and diplomacy can pave the way for improved relations between France and African nations, ultimately fostering a more constructive and mutually beneficial relationship in the future. Acknowledging the past, addressing contemporary issues, and working towards shared goals are essential steps in overcoming the legacy of resentment.